I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The Cloud Next 2023 session catalog is live with the full list that will be available to you in person in San Francisco this August 29th through 31st, covering topics such as data analytics, the latest on large language models, scaling your pot new idea, securing your latest deployment, serverless best practices, managed Kubernetes, and more. Everyone is excited to be back in person, so join us to build to learn, and most importantly, to network, as in network with actual humans, or learn about Google Cloud networking. We announced the public GA release of the Hive BigQuery Connector, an open source connector that lets Apache Hive workloads read and write to BigQuery and Big Lake tables. The underlying data can be stored either in BigQuery native storage or in open source data formats on cloud storage. Whether you're fully migrating from Apache Hive to BigQuery, or you want both systems to coexist and interact together, this new connector covers a wide range of use cases. Looker Studio lets you build vibrant reports and dashboards with just a few clicks, leveraging reusable templates to generate fast, professional visualizations. We introduced two new capabilities for scheduling Looker Studio reports. The first schedules reports that are delivered with distinct filter conditions, such as scheduling a report to multiple regional teams with location or region-based filters for different sets of recipients. The second creates and manages multiple schedules within a report, helping data teams distribute more targeted insights efficiently, allowing, for example, a retail store manager to create different email schedules for a category performance report to different suppliers filter based upon their product category. We released the Go 1.21 first release candidate, packed with new features and improvements, such as the GA for profile guided optimization, new built-in functions and improvements to type inference for generic functions, a new log S-log package for structured logging, a new slices package, a new maps package, a new comparison package, additional performance improvements, and an experimental port for WebAssembly system interface. We teamed up with a broad group of academic and industrial researchers to organize the first machine unlearning challenge. The competition involves having a trained model forget a certain subset of the training images to protect the privacy or rights of the individuals concerned. The competition will be hosted on Kaggle, and submissions will be automatically scored in terms of both forgetting quality and model utility. We hope this competition will help advance the state of the art in machine unlearning and encourage the development of efficient, effective, and ethical unlearning algorithms. We announced MediaPipe Diffusion plugins, enabling controllable text to image generation to be run on device. Expanding upon our prior work on GPU inference for on device large generative models, we introduced new low cost solutions for controllable text to image generation that can be plugged into existing diffusion models and their low rank adaptation variants. By running text to image generation and plugins fully on device, we enable more flexible applications of generative AI. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.